with the brand new Mac mini offering the extremely powerful M4 Pro chip, a lot of people are wondering whether it's best to just upgrade the Mac mini to pretty much the highest tier or wait for a brand new Mac Studio. So I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each, show you what you will be missing if you do go for the Mac Mini. So I think the best way for me to illustrate this is just for me to share my screen with some possible build options. That way you can make the most informed decision for yourself. So here I have lined up what I think would be a very compelling build if you're somebody who is using this as like a workstation for a video editing editing or even some graphic design or Photoshop and things of that nature. This is what I think if you're a professional, you may be tempted to go with instead of a Mac Studio. So basically what I've laid out here is I have the Apple M4 Pro chip with the 14 core CPU and the 20 core GPU. Of course, there's 16 core neuro engine, which is pretty much the same across the board. Uh, I think they're just basically putting that there now because they're really focusing on the AI type stuff. That is a $200 upgrade that I put on here, but I think this is where it can kind of start to get comparable to uh, the Mac Studio. I also went ahead and upped the uh, memory to 64 uh, of unified memory that was a 800 plus dollar upgrade but i do think also in order to give a good illustration of what you would possibly want out of a workstation that that was the best option i went ahead and added a two terabyte storage you could also do a one terabyte for sure but i do think that one of the benefits of having the mac mini is the fact that it is very compact and you might not want to add a bunch of accessories to your desk if you want a minimalist look uh, so i think two terabytes uh, for a workstation may makes a lot of sense and maybe you can just have you know one external ssd if you want a video edit or something like that that's a way that i would use it moving down i went ahead and added the 10 gigabyte ethernet that's something that you could go with or not depending on what you want out of your system i did not add any software because i figure everybody's going to be different on what they use this thing for but basically pretty much decking out of this thing besides decking out the entire storage uh, you're looking at around twenty nine hundred dollars for a very solid incredibly powerful build uh for video editing or any kind of professional use and i do think that this is a good option that being said if you want to possibly hold off there is supposed to be, or at least it's highly rumored that the M4 Studios will be coming out. And I kind of want to show you some of the benefits uh, that you could possibly get if you go with the Mac Studio uh, M4 Mac Studio instead. So if you go over here to the Mac Studio, you will see kind of the build that I came up with. You have the same 64 gigabytes of a unified memory. Now this is the M2 um, chip right now that I'm going basing everything off of, but the M4 should be coming out, I would say probably by about sometime in spring of next year, I would assume. But I'm just kind of trying to give you a similar price comparison and kind of where my logic is when it comes to what the M2 or the M4 Max uh, with a similar price range would offer you. So right here, I went ahead and did the $200 upgrade and to the higher end M2 Max chip. The reason I did that, and I'll show you that in a second, is because that's the way everything makes sense. If you go right here, you'll see that I'm able to add the 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is the, the top end that you would have in the Mac Pro. And if you come over here, you will see that on the M4 Max chip, which is already in the notebooks, in order order to get to 64 gigabytes and otherwise it tops out at 36 gigabytes, which is extremely disappointing, you have to do the $300 upgrade to the 16 core CPU with the 40 core GPU that allows you to go up to the 64 gigabytes of uh, unified memory. So I'm pretty sure the studio version will be the same. And that's the reason that I felt the need to upgrade it to at least the M2 Max version. Uh, with that being said, I have a two terabyte uh, SSD. I think it already 
already comes with the ethernet if i'm not mistaken uh, it already comes yeah 10 10 gigabyte ethernet port so that's already there so these are very similarly priced machines and builds obviously what i think will be coming out is this will become an m4 max chip so this is the difference in prices that you will be paying if you're going for a more powerful m4 max chip which will be coming in the newer systems so you're looking at somewhere around $3,200 versus uh, $2,900. It's about a $300 difference. Maybe it'll be a couple hundred different than that, but I do not see it being very much different. Now, what are some of the pros and the benefits of going that way? Well, of course you have the more powerful chip. That's the obvious thing. Uh, especially on uh, the GPU side, it will be extremely uh, more powerful. This is the chip right here that you would be getting. It would be the uh, 16 core CPU, 40 core GPU. And the GPU is really uh, what is the most impressive. Of course, you have two additional cores with the, the higher end max chip uh, in the CPU, but the CPU of the M4 Pro is already insane. Uh, the big difference here would be the GPU. If you're using something like DaVinci Resolve, it can take advantage of the GPU, as well as maybe you're doing some kind of graphic design, or you even happen to like to do some kind of gaming on your Mac, which uh, it's not necessarily the best experience. So if GPU is extremely important to you that is one major factor that you will be getting for an extra few hundred dollars out of the max studio that will be coming up so other than the more powerful chip that is kind of the obvious thing is the aesthetics so this is the new mac mini it is extremely impressively small that's what she said I think it's uh, super cool what they're able to do. And I hear the thermals are very great from all the things that I've been hearing about. But right here you have uh, two USB-C uh, ports, I think on the front, and now three Thunderbolts in the back. Comes with that ethernet that I upgraded, the HDMI. So this is a really good option if you don't need that many ports. But one of the great things about the Mac Studio, the Mac Studio is very decked out. So you have the same ports in the front uh, as far as USB-C, but you also have an additional SD card reader, which can be great if you're a creative type person that's using SD cards. You have four Thunderbolt ports in the back, and I'm sure that's gonna stay the same. You already get the ethernet. You have two USB-C A ports, as well as all the other stuff that you would be getting in the Mac mini. So really you just kind of have to um, think about it from your perspective, what makes the most sense for you. Uh, do you prefer the compact nature of the Mac mini? And do you need a computer right now? Or do you mind waiting a little bit and getting a bigger computer, but it's gonna have a lot more ports. It will be quite a bit more powerful and it should only be about three to $400 more. That may be the best option for you, especially if you're wanting higher end GPU. Now, if you're somebody who needs a high end GPU, but you cannot wait whatsoever, you're basically your only other option is to go with the MacBook Pro as of right now, because you can get that high end, high GPU count right away. But a very similar build to, to what I set up with the Mac Studio is already uh, pricing you in at $4,300, which is substantially more uh, than what this build is of 2,900. So basically those are your options as of now. If GPU isn't important to you, then I think the Mac mini is possibly a great option. But if you can hold off a little bit, I do think that the Mac Studio will be a very impressive kit. And if you have even more money, then of course the M4 Ultra Trip is gonna be absolutely insane. But I hope you have gotten value out of this video and it maybe clarifies for you what is the best option if you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, peace.